Hey everyone, IRX guy here. Wanted to do a uh, video review of the Bayliner 185. Now this is the uh, the second season of ownership, getting towards the end of the boating season in the summer, and I just wanted to do a walkthrough of the boat. I know I posted a previous video, but it was during the winter, and it was not really that good of a review. So one thing I want to point out: these seats, they flip over, and it's a hard plastic surface. So when you're getting in and out of the boat, it helps to protect the life of your seat. It does have this really nice folding ladder. Your thing here for uh, for your flagpole or your or your light. And I'll show you some more of the back of the boat once we get in the water. Uh, but as you can see here, there's this, and this is the uh, the seat that's in there on the cushion side. Something else that's nice, and you'll see this up here. This is a padded surface you can take these seats I can pick this up and I'm not gonna do it right now and put it in there and it makes a flat surface all the way across that's one of the options that this boat has that a lot of other boats in this price point don't now also these seats over here they fold down to make a flat bench so you can lay out on it I've got the bottom part open here uh, this is a good place to store your anchor and your noodles and your oars and your bumpers, whatever you want to put in there. And then it's just got this, uh, you know, little thing that lifts down over. It's very nice. I've got it open now because we're out and it's hot, and I want that to dry out in there. I want to maintain this thing well because I don't want to buy another boat anytime soon. And uh, there's plenty of cup holders in the back. There's two there. There's two over there. Uh, there's a cup holder over here by this passenger seat. There's a cup holder over there by the driver's seat. It does come with a uh, a very nice, well, I mean, plenty good for what we want stereo. Uh, it is very water resistant. Actually, when I cleaned the boat, I've sprayed this thing and it hasn't ca hasn't caused any damage. Uh, on the dash, you've got a lot of instrumentation, a lot of boats in this price point. You don't get all of this fanciness. So you've got your battery meter. You've got your temperature. Now this Humminbird, that was an option that I added on when I purchased it. At the Bayliner dealership where I got this, to add it on was around 100 bucks. And you definitely need a depth finder. And I would recommend if you're in the market for one of these Bayliner boats to go ahead and just buy that when you buy the boat. Because otherwise you're going to miss it. And I don't know why they didn't include that, since they did all of this other instrumentation, they included a blank spot for the depth finder, but why Bayliner didn't go ahead and just put it in, I don't know. Uh, you got your speedometer, I'm sorry, your tachometer, uh, which is revolutions per minute of your engine. You've got your speedometer. Uh, this particular boat, this is the Bayliner 185, in good water conditions, I can get it up to around 45 miles per hour. So if you're looking for something to go really high speed, you may want to get a bigger engine. I got the four cylinder, uh, but personally that's plenty fast for me. Uh, you've got a visual indicator of where your trim is. You've got your oil, and you've got your fuel gauge. And the fuel gauge tends to be somewhat accurate. Now looking at the other instrumentation options, you got your horn. You can hear that. You got your accessories. Now this accessory thing, I've wired it in to where it'll control my depth finder. And then also, it controls this power port right here. So your standard like cigarette lighter port for your cell phone charger and whatever. And this does have, as you can see there, it's got an aux cable and an auxiliary input. So you can run one of those cables from your, uh, from your iPhone or whatever music device. And it'll run right into your stereo, which is really nice. Steering wheel is really nice. The blower, it just you know blows the stuff out of the engine compartment so it doesn't blow up when you crank it. Um, and then you got your bilge pump. They did a really good job with this dash. And then the other thing that I really like about this is the seat, the pass, the driver's seat. Because as you can see there, it's popped up, and it also goes down. So if you've got people in the front of your boat, it's easy to sit up higher and uh, see over them which is really nice uh, so now we'll before we move to the front i'll show you the the speakers it's got uh let's see it's got jensen the receiver up there was jensen 
Uh, these are Jensen speakers as well. Uh, seem to be very water resistant. Uh, you do have a glove box. And actually, this is more than a glove box. You can use it as a cooler. Um, now, I don't know. I mean, if, if you plan on taking a few drinks out to the river, there's probably not a lot of uh, drinks that are going to fit in there. So I've used it as a glove box. Um, although it does have a self belling option built in, so meaning that the water from that will drain out the side of the boat. There's a plug over there. So let's go to the front here. You can see in the front there's two cup holders. That's one thing, they put cup holders all over this thing. You got your windshield that will move, that'll close. You got your bimini top up there, which I currently keep down. One, one complaint that I have, I'm six foot two, and when I put that bimini top up, I've kind of got to squat down when I walk under it. I'm just barely too tall. So that's an area for improvement. Uh, and as I was saying, the uh, self belling cooler, which I use as a glove box, is right there, that little white plug. And then there's a ton of storage up here. The back of the seats, it's a dry storage area. I keep ski lines and stuff like that. Uh, those are available on each side. And then in addition to that, the seats themselves, the bottom parts come up. And this is a great place to put your, uh, put your life jackets and all that. And see, so you can see I got my life jackets in there. And this particular boat, according to the decal, it says eight persons or 1,030 pounds. So it's, you know, it, it's got a good capacity compared to the smaller bay liners, the 175, and, and I don't know the model numbers of the ones that are smaller than that, but uh, this does have an ample, an ample amount of uh, carrying capacity. All in all, I'm, I'm totally satisfied with this purchase. One thing that could be better, and I realize it's probably not available in this price point, but if they had something for the front, where you could just kind of store your anchor, it would be really nice. And maybe if it doesn't come with it, offer it as an option so that there's, you know, a little cover it goes in there and you can store your anchor and your, your anchor line. That'd be really nice. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's a great investment. Uh, like I said, I've had it for, this is going in towards the end of the second boating season. And it's been a lot of fun. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention was the fuel economy. It's it's decent. I had a, if I had it to do over, instead of getting four cylinder like I did, I would have gotten the. I think they offer this one in a V6. It's a little bit more expensive, but uh, with that bigger engine, you do get a little bit bigger fuel economy. Uh, but as you know, with boats, you're not buying a boat for the fuel economy anyway, because it's they're all going to be pretty bad. And see, this is a Mercruiser 3.0 TKS. So it's a four-cylinder. They did a really good job with this. And the batteries behind the back seat over there. Uh, these things are super easy to winterize yourself. Um, I do have a winterization video already up from last year. But I'm going to post a better one this year. And just kind of like walk you through the entire process. So now, let's get in the water and I'll show you the outside of the boat. I think it is. Okay, so this is the Bay Liner 185 um, from the water. Okay, so the Bayliner 185, as you can see from the back, um, does have the ladder that I just came down. It's uh, it's very nice. It's got three rung, three rings or rungs, whatever you call call it. I don't know. And you can see it collapses. So you got this right here, and you got the next one and the next one, and then that'll just fold up for storage. So that's nice. And what I was saying earlier. Uh, it would have been nice if they had uh, if they had included a similar storage type thing for the uh, 
of an anchor up front. And then this back here is a transom. It's got a, um, you know, it sticks out. So, I mean, if you're if you're behind the boat, the boat is not going to be running. And then uh, it's got these two hooks, and you can use those to uh, if you're going down the highway or something to attach it to the to the trailer more securely. Now, when you look up here, you see you've got the um, uh, this thing right here for skiing, and then you've got your exhaust. And then a little place you can put the name of your boat if you want to. And you can see now I've got the bimini top up. And it's still tall, but not tall enough for me. It's 6'2". The gas cap is on the right side. Uh, you've got, you can see there, I've got a dock line attached to it. It's got one of those things to tie, um, tie dock lines to. And then the front one, I've got the uh, a dock line and a bumper. One complaint I have with this boat, as you can see here, here the uh, the bottom part of the hole is white and then this is like a pinstripe and this stuff started coming off really early on in the game and then also right here you can see the decals they bang up pretty easily and then like that part up there is peeling off not that that's a problem but it's it goes to show where you get the the more of a budget price for this boat. And then the other side, um, it's pretty much, well, it's the same. It's just a different side of the boat. But we'll go over there anyway. And you can see it's got the, over here I don't have the, uh, those, anything attached is I docked on the other side but it's easy to easy to put in a trailer to drive up on the trailer rather and it it uh it's not difficult to to uh, control it's very good for for both a beginner or to, or an experienced boater for that matter uh, would I buy it again if I hadn't already bought it most definitely uh, price is uh is very important and this this was uh, able to be purchased for not much more than a good condition to use boat so uh, thanks for tuning in and feel free to check out all my other videos on YouTube too have a good one